Hello everybody, welcome back to your favourite FC24 series on YouTube, it's Be A Goalkeeper, episode 38. Looking at the league table, we've pretty much dominated this whole season, to be fair. No one is even coming close to this Rangers team. Hearts in second are 14 points behind us. Please, just give us a break. We do still have games to play in the league, but before we get into this first one, remember to leave a like on the video, it really does help my channel, subscribe if you're new, and turn notifications on so you do not miss a thing. Let's get into the first match, which is against Aberdeen, and I swear we've played these like 20 times this season. It seems every episode they're playing like multiple times, but 7 minutes later we actually get a shot off there, that's a great save from their goalkeeper, and again only 3 minutes later we're back into the penalty box, another weird shot, just past the post, to be fair, no pressure on the goalkeeper at all, and now we're into the 30th minute already, take the short free kick, quick pass, and then we get another shot off, leaning back shot from, I think it was Hadji there, but the keeper is there to match it, and again, just for the end of the half, we pass and move into St. Fuentes, one of the goalkeeper, and of course he's going to slot it away. You're never going to catch me. He is just on a goal scoring streak at the moment, for a midfielder he scored way too many, it's like Frank Lampard running from deep midfield, and look at the time and space he had, defender or midfielder not tracking him into the box, takes a touch, stops the ball dead, keeper though, Ooh, should be saving that one straight at him pretty much, but he can't get his hands up. And that's the first half done already. Not a lot happened. We had a few opportunities. Abdeen had absolutely none. I don't think they even stepped foot in our half of the field, but in the second half, they actually do get the first opportunity just outside the edge of the box now. A little bit of passing here, trying to make some space. It's a weird shot, but I spring across my line and catch the ball and hold onto it very nicely. 66 minute, we get another shot off their goalkeeper. It's playing pretty well. He's making some decent saves to keep them still in this game, but look at the strength from the Abdeen player there. Full stretch save from myself, and it actually breaks my arm by Looks of it. I'm very nimble and flexible by looks of it. Look at that. Hyper extends the arm and that's full time. 1 0. Not very often we get a 1 0 score. A clean sheet for me as well. A 7.3 rating. Only one save, which is not true, but okay. Their goalkeeper is actually the one who's in second, no, third position in the clean sheet leaderboard, but unlucky for him, he loses one today and I gain one to get a bit further ahead of him. Now onto the next match, which is against St. Johnson. Still in the league. We do actually have a massive match coming up next after this one. Five minutes into this match, though. Hadji takes a shot from just outside the box through the defenders. Keeper watches the whole way. Good save from the corner, though. The keeper again nearly fumbles the bag. Nearly sets it up for our player. Not sure what's going on with that dude's eyes, but it's pretty sketchy. But 12 minutes in, we're down the left side of the pitch. We actually lose the ball from a very weak pass, but look at the pressure. Snatches the ball away in the penalty box, but hits it straight to the goalkeeper, and eventually they do clear their lines. Should have been a goal there. Great work, rate, right? But look at this men flooding forwards into the penalty box. We go, and the keeper makes another save. Constantly making save after save, and this time he gets saved by the man on the line. But we win the rebound, it's just past the post again. What is happening? Their goalkeeper is so good. Raskin with some strength in the midfield, and the ball ends up at Hadji's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! Finally indeed, but Raskin showing that pure strength in the midfield, finds the pass up the field and Hadji miles of space, Malady. literally no one near him at all and of course he's going to finish it, he's top goal scorer for a reason, but look at the pass and defender has no choice but to come across, leaves that gap in behind him and Hadji on his right foot squeezes it in at that near post, the keeper doesn't really stand a chance, he tries putting pressure on him, closing down the angle but he can't react quick enough and we have finally 1-0 up but at the end of the first half St. Johnson whipped the ball towards the back post, I lose flight of the ball, defender to close it back into a danger zone to have no idea what he is doing we get very lucky and the first half is done one nil st johnston again team seem to struggle against us don't have very many attacks at all can they change it in the second half no they can't because we are the first ones was it how do you pick up the ball finds the pass in the middle takes a shot the keeper matches it this time at that near post this time the left side of the pitch another weak pass lose the ball but we managed to gyrate the dude to give the ball back to us now quick pass and towards the edge of the box now i don't know who it figures down finds hadji what can he do hits it across the goalkeeper gets his second of the day, putting us 2-0 up in this match. Malady. What went on down that left side of the pitch? That player got like pushed and gyrated so much that we decided to pick up the pace with a passing move. Hits it across the goalkeeper. It looks like from that angle the keeper should be doing better, but from this angle, he looks like he's nowhere near it, so everything can be deceiving there, but either way, we are 2-0 up, and St. Johnson have done nothing. Can they change a 60 minute try luck at long range? No problem for me at all, but I take the corner short now, passing away into the penalty box, takes a little touch, sets himself up, and across their line quickly with a decent save of my own. Only 15 minutes after the pitch, and Tavnir whips the ball into the middle with the header just over the crossbar. Now only 12 minutes, so back on another attack. Look at the men flooding forward, little back hill into St. Fuentes. What can he do? No! This time the keeper stops him and then I get subbed off for some reason. 6.7 rating. Kept my clean sheet. What's the score at the end? 2-1. We actually lose the clean sheet but I keep mine very fortunate. 15 shots from us. 
No problem, mate, yeah? And now we move on to the second leg of the Champions League. We're currently 2-1 up against Liverpool, but we are at Anfield. And you know what? It's kind of scary a little bit. See what Liverpool can do in this match. Hopefully we can hold on, but 10 minutes in, they actually get their first opportunity. Get a bit fortunate here. Cody Gakpo actually gets a shot of the ball. Bounce back to Gakpo. Push it up onto the crossbar. What a save in the end. I get so lucky. I just push it down with enough momentum to bounce it up onto the crossbar. Hits it like three times. One, two, or oh, just the two. Then we do clear our line. So lucky, but... In the 12th minute, Gakpo steps up for a free kick and then he whips it to that top corner. I literally spring straight up there, but still the pace and the power on this ball. Wall doesn't jump for some reason. Look how close it is. Just ripples the top of the net. Woo! So, so close. But 26 minutes in, they're putting us under more pressure. Ball is drilled into Gakpo. It's a man at a moment. He finds the bottom corner. I dive the wrong way. Oh, I didn't even dive. I stepped the wrong way. So poor in. We've done so well to stay in it at the moment, but they get the goal back to equal the game on aggregate. So it's 2-2. Two, two. Way too easy. I feel like he's going to go near post, but again, I just misjudge it completely. But there you go. Gakpo has just been on fire. He's had every opportunity, and this time he does score it. And 33rd minute, they're back on another one. Possible out to the edge of the box now. Got a man waiting over. His can takes a shot just over the crossbar. We are just holding on. Finally, we get a first opportunity. Sim Fuentes finds that with loads of space. Pass off to Rui. Shoot! He's missed. Oh my days, how have we not scored there? We had like three men over, look at how many there is, and he passes to the left back of all people. He clips the post, so annoying, and half time is here. 1-0 on the day, 2-2 on aggregate. We should be in the lead, but we could quite easily be losing. 52nd minute, they burst into our penalty box as Diaz gets tackled, but somehow comes away with the ball. Little fake shot, finds the man in the middle, gets past players, again takes a shot but straight at me. I think it's Gakpo. He's had so many opportunities on 60th minute, bursting through again. This time he tries cheeky chipping me, but it's way too much on it. This game is end to end. This time it's our turn. So Fuentes in the box finds Dow with a bit of space, takes the shot, and the near post. Allison is there. The ball doesn't even go out for a corner. Taps Oda picks it up, but Sim Fuentes actually putting the pressure on, snatches the ball straight off him. Now he's running down the byline, pushes him off as well, passes across, but it's a weak one, and they manage to clear their line. 72nd minute, we're back into their penalty box. Little back heel, Sim Fuentes for Allison. He's absolutely ridiculous. How have we not scored there? He just reacts so, so well. I literally have no idea how he's made that save. Gets down a little fingertip snapper there, wiggling all over the place. That is full time, so we are going into extra time, but I'm not. I get subbed off at the beginning of extra time. What happened? Decided to sim it, and we actually do win the game. We get two goals at extra time. Finishing that match 2-1 and on aggregate 4-2. Liverpool fans are absolutely fuming, losing at Anfield. Can you believe it? Now we move on to the final match of today's episode at home against Hibernian. And they're not too good a team, but let's see what they can do here. We actually start off the game with some nice passes again, just back and forth in the penalty area, making some space. Had he straight at the goalkeeper, though, not the way we want to finish off that move. And in the 36th minute, they're down the left side of the pitch, floats the ball into the penalty box, wins the header and gets the goal, putting them 1-0 up from their very first shot on goal. And I'm a little bit annoyed about this one because... I move exactly what I need to do, and the animation kind of messes me up. But to be fair, it's a good header. He finds pretty much the top corner, but watch the way I move. I literally follow the ball all the way at the near post. If he heads it across, I'm fine with it. But the fact I keep moving, and there's that tiny gap, and somehow he finds it, just put the wrong hand up, which is so annoying. But fair play to them. They're 1-0 up. 40th minute that we're trying to get back into it as Ruth actually holds off the man constantly getting his shirt tugged up. He works his way into the paint. It was taken short quite early then the keeper pushes it round for a corner and as the first half done we are losing against Hibernia. Just bad mouthed them saying they weren't very good but they are holding on to the lead here. Into the second half we go and they try the luck again. Left side of the pitch. Whips the ball into the middle on the volley. We actually do get the blocking but the referee gives a penalty. There's no way that is a penalty. His hands behind his back. Such BS, and then I get subbed off as well, so I don't even have to deal with the penalty. Our subs goalkeeper's got a lot of pressure on him, and I decide to sim the match, and the match ends 1-1, and the penalty doesn't even exist. I found a glitch in the matrix. If you get subbed off, apparently the penalty just loses its whole meaning there. It just doesn't exist anymore. But now we're going to have a look at the player stats. You can see Seagrass 9-24 and for clean sheets. I'm 8-31, and is sitting in second, and a bunch of them on 6-5, and five. but we're so close to taking that golden glove away. 
for the assist. So we have Hadji, Sinfrentes, and Dow. Also, we have a Ruzer up there. So 21, 10, 8, and 6. Pretty good return from all of them. Moving on to top goal scorer. Hadji at the top, 18 in 31. Roof up there as well, 13 and 26. And that is all. Oh, no, Ruzer's up there, 10 and 27. But that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new and turn notifications on so you do not miss a thing. And as always, look after yourself. Stay safe. And I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.